Welcome to another edition of EMAC 24101 on YouTube.com. <clears throat> Make sure to like this video and subscribe with new major WWE backstage updates on John Cena and Neville. Their match on Raw. We all know WWE is on May 11, 2015, Monday night. USA Network, 3 hour live show on their match for the United States title. So let's get into it. As, uh, according to DWN, their premium newsletter section, there was a lot of concern among people in WWE and fans when Neville first came to the main roster, with many fearing he wouldn't last long. Things are going well so far, and they are looking to protect Neville until they until they find a solid role for him. This is why Neville didn't go under clean to the United States champion John Cena on Raw. On a related note, there was heat on production workers from WWE officials for showing Cena how Rusev to grab the United States title belt after the post-match attack on Raw. Okay. Now, I'm going to first discuss basically John Cena's U.S. Open Challenge on Raw's. On the Raw's. When, when him as champion, his character, him as the babyface, should he turn heel? You know, him, you know, just the whole dynamic. So first, um... First, John Cena, I like his U.S. Open Challenge. I think it's interesting. Because we've seen many superstars. You don't know who it's going to be. Who's going to come out? It's a surprise. You don't know. Now, yes, you probably know John Cena's going to win. But that's not the point. Their matches, the matches are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Now, what was better? Sami Zayn versus Cena or Neville versus Cena? That's hard. Those are two different matches. I don't know. Freaking both were amazing. All I know. Matches of the night. I mean, we've seen Dean Ambrose. That is where it started us. That, uh... Oh, sorry. Uh, Stardust. We've seen many people accept uh, the challenges. They've lost. Um, some of them, I mean, they've gotten pinned. They, no one's tapped out. That's a good thing. Really good matches, though. John Cena, him, sh he should turn heel, though, soon. His babyface run is kind of getting, um, rose. Sorry for that. But, um, you know. You really sorry. I'm honestly distracted right now. Sorry. You really. Sh okay. You really should. I, I honestly just got it all away now. Um. Sorry for that. I lost track now. Shit. Um. Yeah. But his heel right. He's turn heel because his character is getting bad. I do like to never give hustle. If you respect the cap, the t-shirts, all the shit. I'm a John Cena fan. He's my favorite wrestler. I'm not gonna. I'm not afraid to say that. I stand for what I believe in. I am a WWE fan of wrestling, because, you know, in school, if I say that, people are like, oh, you like that fake shit. I don't care. I'll say it to their face. I'll say I like wrestling. I don't care. But that's besides the point. John Cena. I grew up with John Cena, okay? I started liking wrestling in 2006. See, I go in depth. I go in massive details. And I'm going to talk about an Evil. Do not worry. But I've grown up with John Cena in 2006. He's been around since 2002. Yeah. Okay, he's been a United States champion. He's done it all. Um, tag team, W champion, W World League champion, World League champion, World Rumble winner, main events WrestleMania. He's done it all. The Peter Super Legends. I mean, the legitimacy. I mean, he's he's not the main event anymore, right? You know, he's a mid card. He's putting these guys over. Well, he's not putting these, but the, 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 he's at least giving these guys a chance to show what they got on Raw against him, against the best in the business right now. For him, just to give them a chance. That's why he wants to put them over. Because, look, the reason why they're not losing right now, he's still champion, is because when someone comes up, like, the more he defends it, the more they're going to go, like, when he does lose it, eventually, but it's not going to be champion forever. When he does lose it, they're going to say, wow, he lost to, let's say, Dolph Ziggler, for example, let's just say. They're going to go, wow, he lost it, and Dolph Ziggler did it, you know, this guy's going to be huge, his, his stock's going to boost. So I do like this, now we got Rusev versus John Cena at Payback. Tomorrow night at, um, on the W Network should be a good match. John Cena probably will win, but you never know. People say he buried all his talent, hey, talent, and he doesn't. But yeah, 13 years in the business and he's still strong. I wonder when John Cena's retiring when he'll just hang up the boots and you know. Okay, talking about Neville now. You know he was from NXT. Okay, sorry, that's my dog with her toy, Rosie. What's her name? Hey, Rosa. Um. You know, 
Neville from NXT. He was an NXT champion. Was he a tag team champion? I think he was. He's done that for a few. For I don't know honestly how long he was, but I know he's done that for at least a year. Um, so he did amazing things. He defeated. He had good feuds or whatever. Even a, he was even a heel, but I was a babyface. Um, he's done good things there. I liked his performances. I liked his character. You know the the damn it. What's it, what's it called? The gra what gravity forgot or something like that. Or something like that with gravity, and you know he does. He's a freaking awesome my player. I think he'll become a. Uh, at least he'll be in the mid card. He's seen with Bandage Bear, it looks like right now. I mean, he's in the. I mean, he's tag team, and I mean, he's really. With big Super Surge right now, he's facing him off. I mean, not many Super Surge from NXT can say they did that. I mean, he's made his, his made debut. I think it was the night after WrestleMania. So he's been on the right roster. I, I wasn't concerned when he did come, I knew he was probably going to do these things. He's already been in big matches. I don't think he'll be a United States or Intercontinental Champion. I think in, within the, within a year. That develop his character and stuff for fans to like him. Fans go crazy when he comes out. I like Neville. I'm a big fan. Honestly. He's probably the, one of the hot superstars right now. Probably top five. And that's good that they are trying to protect Neville. That's why it was a disqualification finish when Rusev came in. I mean... That's something, you know, if someone does it. He didn't go under clean. I mean, it looked like he was about to win. What if he... I mean, that's why you're wondering probably right now. What if? Neville. What if Rusev didn't come in? Was he going to win the title? Think about it. That's the thing. You never know. Become the new United States Champion. John Cena's run hasn't been that long, but I think it's been about a month and a half. Um, but Drew stuff. I mean, all these guys, you know, guys have developed in the future, and it's the same guys, and... I mean, their match on Raw I gave, did I, I think it was 5 out of 5 stars I gave it, or 4 out of 5. Um, it was really good. Went on for a pretty good amount of time. I like to use the open because you just don't know what's going to happen. The United States Championship problem right now is probably the most prestigious championship right now, as you see how it's going on Raw. As you can see. Um, as you can see, because it's being defended every week on Monday Night Live on Raw, on USA Network's three-hour show. I would like to see a main event Raw, honestly, for it to be the closing scene. But, you know, you know that. I mean, you know if it's defended every week. Everyone wants it, because that's just the whole point about the US Open Challenge. When you see someone come out every week, you know that title, they want to win that title. It's got to be something. It's got to be important. And it is. Finally, that is doing this for the mid-card, United States title. The Intercontinental title, we'll find out who the new Intercontinental title will be, champion, at Elimination Chamber. But, that's good though, they're not just all about the main event now and stuff. And even the tag team and Divas are even getting chances. So yeah, thanks for watching and, uh, uh, thanks for the support and see a YouTube piece out. I do want to become a sports broadcaster, commentator, announcer, interviewer, and, uh, anal and, 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 analyzer, I mean, I want to do it all. I would like to do it for Dota B, which is wrestling. NBA from basketball, I'm not following even football, but, you know, professionally, but I gotta, you know, I gotta develop, I gotta do some stuff before I get there, if I ever get there, so I'm practicing pretty much on YouTube right now, basically, I'm trying to make a name for myself, you know, of course, this is free, no charge, of course, and stuff, no donations or nothing, um, so we all know what's going on in the YWC, IWC with Sean's U Entertainment. Yeah, entered the arena. You know, they're looks like they're batting the load out or something like that, but I got nothing against it. I'm a big fan of entering the arena. Shout out to General Jerry and Don Juan Banks, man. You guys are the best. Sean's U Entertainment. He's, you know, he's, he's okay. He's not bad, though. Um, but, yeah. I mean... What I basically it's it. I mean, it's really it. Make sure to like this video, share this video all over the entire internet on Facebook, Tub, and Twitter. Comment with your thoughts and your opinions. And wow, nine minutes and counting, almost going on ten. Wow. Payback predictions, previews, run down the match card, giving the grade for it, and just talking about it is coming up shortly. So stay tuned so that don't go anywhere. And um. Yeah, I mean, I'll be doing a review results show as well, discussing it, what I thought, 
my thoughts, my opinions, my views, commentary, criticisms, and all that. But yeah, just try to help me up on YouTube. Try to help me out on YouTube. Subscribe.